Todd from Get Strong. This week's devotion comes straight out of our reading in 2 Timothy. And so 2 Timothy is a very powerful book because it is written by Paul. It is the, actually the last words of Paul. He's writing from prison. He never gets out of prison. And so this passage is, uh, this whole book is very powerful because of that. Chapter 1, verse 7 is a verse that I think people get wrong from time to time. This is what it says. It, Paul is talking to Timothy, right? And he's passing on the most important stuff. And he tells Timothy, he says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, and some verses say uh, timidity, but one of power, of love, and of sound judgment. Now, I've heard people say that this verse confirms that Timothy was uh, timid or that he was fearful. And I think that's not what it means. I think that to to execute the duties of the ministry, right, to walk with God, to lead God's people is a important task. It is a difficult task, and it takes someone of spiritual strength. And so I think Paul is challenging Timothy, and thus he's challenging us because he wants us to lead in our circles of influence. I think he's saying, don't be fearful, right? Don't be afraid to step out and trust God. Don't be afraid to do what I'm asking you to do. Um, one of the other verses says, don't be timid. Like, don't You don't have to be cautious, right? God is on your side. God is calling you and leading you. He goes before you. He is strengthening you. And so he is, he is urging Timothy on, right? He is he is trying to put all the wind he can into Timothy's sails. And he's like, he says, because our God is a God of power. He is a God of love, but he's a God of sound judgment, right? Those are the tools. Those are what Timothy has to execute the ministry. And so it was, it's difficult to lead ministry today to, to step out in faith today. Can you imagine in the Roman world when they were, uh, persecuting Roman or persecuting Christians in such a terrible way, Paul is about to be put to death for his faith. So this is even more important when you hear him saying, "Be strong, don't be fearful." You're going to see it all throughout this text, where it is talking about how difficult it is to do ministry. When he's talking about in chapter 2, be to pass on the things that you've heard from me. He's going to say, do it uh, in the same way that a soldier would do it, how hard a soldier would do it, or how hard a, an athlete prepares, or just, just how difficult it is for a farmer to work the land. That is what you should expect out of this out of this ministry. He encourages him with the word. He says the word of God is breathed out by God. And it is powerful. It is effective. It is able to equip you to do the good work. And at the very end, Paul is, is saying, I'm handing the keys to you. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And I have been faithful. Timothy, go forth and do likewise. And so that's the, that's the charge to us, is to... Be bold, to be confident in what God is calling us to do, to lead with confidence, to, to love, and to uh, serve those who are around us. So I hope this passage encourages you. It always encourages me to, to step out and to do those things I believe God is calling me to do. And it's the little things and the big things. So like in my life, you know, it, it was difficult for me uh, to do family devotions with my two little girls. They were little little bitty munchkins and felt like God was calling me to do that. And it was a great joy after we finally did it. But also God called me into full-time ministry to walk away from a career, to take a huge pay cut, and to totally change the course of my life. God is with you in those small steps. He's with you in those big steps. And he's always faithful. Have a great day.